another curbside recycling video because I found some high quality stuff. Intended as a small bin, this could be a useful case for a homebrew project. The front panel could be here, you could just use a piece of circuit board material to form it, and it wouldn't be too hard to make a transceiver, receiver or some other device in this case. A Foxtel hub. Looks a bit like a computer modem, but we'll open it up later and have a look inside. A CD AM FM radio, probably just the usual stuff, so we'll give this a miss. Because there are some more specialised items that I'll spend a bit more time on. I've already taken the case out of this, but this is a telephone answering machine. Not too many devices, but there's a crystal and quite a few discrete components. The speaker and electric microphone are also worth salvaging. Another answering machine. A couple of computer modems. Here's a little transducer. Looks like a small speaker, so that could be handy for some projects. This was a board found in a box. I don't actually know what it is, but there's a beefy bridge rectifier and three relays. Not electronic, but this looks like a nice case. Either to house a project or to store salvage components. This could well be an ice cube tray, but it could also form a small chassis for a homebrew project. This was possibly the prize item. It is a car GPS. No branding, no model number, but there is a connection diagram. Let's have a look at this. A small micro SD card. It could be worth seeing what data's on it. There are quite a few files, including various mapping ones. The object of looking at this was to see if I could get some clues as to the model and type of GPS unit. The only thing I could find was this. I searched in Google under this model and couldn't find anything. And when I attached 12 volts I couldn't get any light from it. So for me it's a pull apart job. And this, no clues except for four sockets. And if you look carefully, there's some very short vertical elements. They probably go to microwave circuitry buried deep inside here. Another RF oriented item is this. A pity the microphone cord's cut off, but we do have the microphone. Initially, it looked like a 27 megahertz CB but no, it's something different. A 27 MHz marine radio, operating on a few channels above the 27 MHz CB band. The big problem with it is water damage. And not surprisingly, there is no noise from the receiver when I connected the power. 